we have the Wisconsin tier. It's off NDA, it is final. We're looking at pretty much an Iowa hole with the difference that we have 38 millimeters here, which I think on a normal Iowa is 32, this bottom part. And you have a citadel that is under the water. As you can see, it's quite deeply here. That's Casamama, here's the citadel. It's quite deeply under the water quite a bit. Uh, you get an F key, which is very nice. 6% uh, per main battery hit, you charge it. When you have fully charged it and activated, you get 50% better reload time and 80% faster consumable reload time. Another big difference is that the accuracy of sh the ship is even better because it has battlecruiser dispersion as far as I know. And yeah, survivability again is a little bit lower and it has, does have a tiny bit more HP, but that's pretty much it. You also got Death A as an extra consumable, although that's not really the biggest thing to mention. And now let's take this thing out for a spin. You're currently back to your house and safety check by my household, Mr. Householder. Fine by now. Nice. Death is Okay. Good. Let's see how it goes. Lots of cruisers. Good matchmaking. Again, I played it already yesterday quite a bit, and I must say it's not a bad ship, by no means. It's it's really nice to play. Um, it's not broken in any form or whatever, which is kind of nice, because we don't need these ships in a game like this. But it's definitely not bad either. So if you if you master the play style and you don't go too aggressive most of the time, it's a pretty decent ship, and also it's gorgeously looking. I mean. Look at this, boys. Girls, look at this. The hole just looks absolutely amazing. And for those of you who don't know what it's going for, it will be the New York New Dockyard ship in the upcoming patch. What were the guns again? Same as Iowa. Four sixes. But again, battle cruiser dispersion, so a bit more accurate. Oh, your breakfast was good. Oh, I didn't have any breakfast yet. <laughs> I still get my apple soon and some scrambled eggs. Hey, space muffin, welcome. And this ship looks so good. How do you turn off the UI again? I always forget. What is all turning off the UI? On the ah well. I need He did went towards us, and I aimed a bit too high, to be fair. Okay, we got Napoli in there, with Alvaro de Bazan. Only bigger downs and a half of the ship is that it has, of course, the slow US shells, so on the long range it can be quite iffy to land. Because people have so much time reacting to them.
Let's go a bit close. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> what is the Spanish guy doing there? Let's see if he's paying attention. Yeah, he's paying attention. No smash for us, Chad. But damage. Oh, damn. Okay, maybe a smash. That came a bit surprising, to be honest. Guten Morgen, Vegaras. Bro, bro, I think he actually turned the tiny bit that I needed for the Citadel. Poor man. Oh. Nah, don't accelerate too far much, bro. I gave already a No, don't accelerate too much. Yo, Yoshino, you're supposed to explode. <laughs> oh. Guys, I'm not I'm not saying anything, but this if this would have been Soviet, French or German guns, we would have said about them. Because they would have reached in time. Just saying. Oh man, dude, look at that accuracy though. <laughs> Let's go. Again, one downside you have with, the, with this F key though is you need to actually hit the shells. It's not like a no for something where you can miss and it will charge. You need to land those shells. Which is fine with the accuracy of course, but remember. Enemies are quite far here in this meta most of the time. Other or the Bazan just use torps, if I saw it correctly. Torpedoes, direct front. Torpedoes, dead ahead. Spotter returning to ship. Those are Yoshino's torpedoes, so we have seen them from a mile. Oh, that was a good smash on the Napoli. Also, let's see what the Napoli play gamer is doing now, bros. He's gonna turn away with the sub again. I'm gonna keep my F key ready. Or actually a very good broadside. Torpedoes direct front. Torpedoes to start. Did we hit the sub? Oh, we got a flooding, nice. Torpedoes to starboard. Torpedoes to starboard. Awaiting instructions. Torpedoes dead ahead. Airborne. Yo, BB homing. Look at my skill, look at my skill chat. Damn, that was so hard. <laughs> oh, BB homing in a nutshell, guys. I didn't even have to do a lot. Was pretty effortless, to say the least. Oh. Huh? I have to reload ready again. Nice, the submarine is gone. Oh, do I really want to shoot an Orcan at this range? Oh, no. Torpedoes, direct front. We're gonna start turning our guns. Mm, I'm going for one heal here, even though I would love to have the better reload. Are you taking some handsome pills? Oh wow, okay man. <laughs> no I don't, but thank you. What does the funny do on Wisconsin? 50% better reload, 80% faster consumable Yeah. You get 6% per actually hit, per actual hit. Oh man, I overturned. 
I actually overturned them all. So you need to land 17 shells, I think. I mean, I, I can't really do the math right now instantly. 10 shells is 60%. 5 shells is, is 30, that's 90%. 17 shells you need to land to trigger it. Yeah, I'm gonna show about a bit of broadside here, but I don't want to stay. He can't shoot me, that's good, apparently. Sorry for the beach, by the way, that was pretty poorly. I always underestimate how thick this thing is. It's in Iowa after all. We should be able to out accelerate the torp, right? It's, we are fast boat after all, yep. Yeah. <laughs> we should be able to accelerate it to drive it to these. Let's go. That would be so dead. I mean, no, nothing could really punish me, to be fair. The thingy was, the Colombo was super busy. This one is gonna... Oh god, that's gonna be so off. I, I just need to hit him now. Come on, one hit. Ah, F. And I'm also gonna eat this one from the Napoli? Oh, that's unfortunate. Would be cool if secondary hits would also count, would make it a bit easier. And one thing that's not so good about Iowa, of course, or AK Wisconsin, is the firing angles of the second turret. Unfortunately. Kind of want to fight it out of the GK though. Oh, I'm mean, actually I'm gonna rotate towards the turbots, I think. Then again, no, let's let's go. Let's fight a GK man. Is he going through the gap? I can wait here for him. No, oh, the the Bazan. Come on, accelerate, accelerate. Engine power turning. And we good? We're good. Also, it has, on the other hand, it has one upside that actual hits counts, because if you didn't know, if you have a ship with an F key that doesn't need to hit, but only hit the vicinity of a ship, it doesn't count if it's dark. Like, for example, if I hit, if I miss the GK now with uh, Uchakov, for example, but I hit him where he, like, he's here, but I miss him, uh, it wouldn't count, even though it would be directly next to him, because he's not spotted. If I hit him blindly with this ship, it counts. Also, this is not gonna end well for us, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait. He did use his tops quite early. But there's also Yoshino coming. Denied. Gonna go for the frontal overmatch, I believe. Oh, this is gonna be so questionable. Yeah. No chance against both. Still, not too bad the battle, honestly, not too bad. Four versus six. Nah, I don't think we're gonna win this. We're gonna go for one more. Uh Hava do you wanna play you wanna join Diff because you're here, otherwise I would go battle on. The enemy is about to win. 
Okay, good. We're gonna go two battles, chat. Two battles with it. Gonna upload two in a row because one is always not saying a lot about the ship. Ship. Match packing again. No CV, good CV. <laughs> oh. One thing I kind of miss on the ship though is that it has 45 seconds tour traverse time. Now that is not bad, and no way, especially if you have tour traverse mod on it. But if you're so used to play ships nowadays with only 30 seconds, because that was like the benchmark, they do feel kind of slow. Oh, it's more like the turret layout. I think like I play too much Columbo with insane firing angles nowadays. That's I'm kind of sad when I kite with this thing. I don't know. Why no Salem for far more? No idea, mo. bro. No idea. Also, one more thing, guys. I want to thank you. I reached a new milestone. I reached a new milestone on YouTube, guys. I have acquired since I published videos. 15 million views. Mm. So thank you for that, guys. Appreciate it. I just want to say that also for the people who watch this video soon on YouTube. Thank you so much. 15 million views on YouTube. That is crazy. That is actually insane, dude. 15 million. That's, that's, that's like nearly, I mean, it would be need, need to be like 20 million, but that's like a quarter of Germany nearly. If we had another 5 million. <laughs> that's crazy, man. And my, my, my goal is we're getting close to half a million a month. That would be, that would be amazing. We're at, right, right now we're growing on YouTube. I think we are at 350,000 a month and my goal is half a million. That would be amazing. Anyway, let's smash these, these little boats here. That's three times the size of your country. It's insane, man. Huh? Okay. Huh? Bro, wasn't he like... Where did I aim? I mean, he turned, but this far off, okay. I think I need a pair of glasses. Or a pair of new RNG. <laughs> Good. This should be better. Okay, he's turning in. This might actually be not as good, but this time I... Actually, should hit him. Yeah. Good. Thank you, bro. That means a lot to me. Oh. 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 Okay, this is gonna hurt. Overmatch. Overmatch, man. Poor Eugen. My kill, the only thing I can say now is at least he has a heal, unlike. Uh, um, unlike. 
Good job. The other guy, what is he called again? Dipper. I'll help you get the Benham. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <clears throat> Although I would go so far that you could win a gun duel against him quite easily. But anyway, I'm there. I don't want the Benham alive either. And... Nice, I got one hit on him. Yeah, yeah. okay, guys. I'm going already. Corpse, yeah. Torpedoes to port. Yo, what? Who just punished me? <laughs> Probably Yama. I wanna. Too many BBs. <laughs> uh. Did he shoot me? No, it's not shooting. He did shoot me. But this time we angled. Now we're gonna wait until our spotter plane is off cooldown and our heal. Then we're gonna press the F key so we have the consumables ready as well. Remember, guys, it's not only about the reload here. We're gonna wait until the heal is off cooldown and then we're gonna smash that button. And let's go. Oh my god, that dispersion. You must not aiming at me, we can like this. Oh, let's go. Another beautiful looking dispersion. Nice. Ooh. Nice job. Attention. A target position. That should also be a decent hit. So you see guys, if you time this very well, it can be amazing. I will use the seal just because we cannot heal more anyway. And once we have the FK, we have all the consumables ready again. It's actually really nice with the consumables. Might even be better than the actual reload buff in that scenario. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that a killing shot? Is that a killing shot? Come on. No. And we were a tiny bit off there. It's the amount of lead. Just experience. It's experience. And you see here, seconds. You see this? 12 seconds to hit that target, uh, to reach this position. So I can, in my brain, I can guess where it should be by that time. This has experience, man. There's no, like, a thing on the bottom where I need to aim and it tells me. That would actually be an actual hack. Although even in this game it wouldn't bring you too much unless people would broadside because it would only count for the moment what they're doing in that in that exact moment. Like if they turn then that point wouldn't even count anymore. That's three BBs focus me down. Nice. That was actually an important kill because now I can go dark. <laughs> Unless, of course, Haaland is mean.
Hmm. That's a sexy shot. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. I need to keep turning now. I cannot engage that Halland because otherwise I die to Maglen. Oh, we died to it anyway. <laughs> but I got my shot off. Oh, he was the angled. GG. But as you can see, it's 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 not amazing, but it's not bad either. We didn't really get the best like battles for it. The positioning and so on was also not the top notch, but it's a decent ship. But it's nowhere near insane or something, which is good. I like ships like this more, honestly, Jed. We don't need another another Napoli or something. So this it's bad. It's not bad, but it's not amazing either. But it does look good. It has its, it has its moments. It's I think it's more suited against broadside and cruisers than BBs, honestly. Um, because it's still in Iowa, so you cannot tank that much, as you can see against the focus of those BBs. But I didn't really utilize my concealment either. So if I utilize my concealment a bit better, I can always go dark and so on. So GG. And here's the captain build, yeah. Nothing really is different here. I think you could potentially drop artillery protein room, although I just love going for that one on your SBBs. Maybe for turret traverse. But the other two are kind of useless and not really worth going to. And here, this is just a classic BB build for me. Maybe another heal, although four heals is more than enough, as you saw. Yeah, we'll see. Pretty decent, though. Good. Now, 